nobody going to talk about Naveen who got direct shot from the Russian army, according to whatever. Dungar Singh Chauhan said, you said the Russians will never kill any country citizens, but our student is de- dead in the shelling of the Russian army. And Ajay says, an Indian is already killed. You were saying in your videos that Russian military have no intention of harming civilians. Okay, so this is along the same themes as what I what the previous question I took. I never <laughs> said... So there are two questions being asked over here. There's a specific question and a more general question. Okay, about Naveen. So the, we had this Indian student, very unfortunate, very tragic. Naveen Shekharappa, I think his name, name was. Uh, the death was announced on 1st of March, I believe. So he died in the city of Kharkiv. And initially it was believed that he was he died in shelling. But later it emerged through video evidence that he was shot. Somebody shot him. All right. Now, when Naveen was shot in Kharkiv, the Russians were not in Kharkiv. The Russians were, were outside Kharkiv, far away, many, many kilometers away. There was not a single Russian soldier in Kharkiv. And yet Naveen was shot to death. Now, we know that in Kharkiv, the Ukrainians had been arming civilians. The Ukrainian government had issued AK-47 and other weapons to civilians. They had also freed criminals and given them weapons. Now, what can you can you put two and two together to understand what happened to our guy Naveen? The poor guy was in a in a bunker in a bomb shelter all night. Then, once the curfew was lifted for a few hours, he went out to get some provisions, some food and water, I, I suppose. And then we find that he has been shot. And there was not a single Russian in the city. Who is to be held responsible for this? The Russians? Come on. He was shot clearly, not by a Russian. So who else can it be? Somebody on the Ukrainian side. Either a civilian who had been given weapons or a criminal who was released by the by the Ukrainian government. That's all I can say. Right. Now, I did say the Russians will never willingly or knowingly hurt an Indian citizen, they will do their best to evacuate the Indian citizens. That's what I said. But this is war. I also said the Russians will try their best not to hurt civilians. But this is war. Bullets don't look at your nationality. Right. An artillery shell follows the laws of physics. It is not a magic shell that will see, oh, this person is not Ukrainian or this person is not a, not a soldier, so don't, don't hurt the person. No, that's not how it works. So when war happens, when there is shelling going on, sometimes civilians will get hit, especially if the Ukrainian government is putting them as human shields, which they have been doing. And sometimes the shells will go in the wrong direction. Sometimes there will be crossfire, which will be uncontrolled when two sides are firing at each other. If civilians are caught in the crossfire, they will die. So please understand people use some logic. Please use some logic. Please use some common sense. I have never said not a single civilian will die. I said the Russians will try their best to minimize civilian casualties. They will try their best to minimize damage to Ukrainian infrastructure. And they will never, ever willingly hurt an Indian citizen. Okay. But if an Indian citizen gets caught in some crossfire, that in that case, we will have a tragic loss of life. I hope it doesn't happen. Please, I, to, I, I wish and I hope it doesn't happen. And so far, the the Indian government is doing a very good job of evacuating the citizens. I hope it is concluded successfully. But this is war. So you you may have casualties. I hope it doesn't happen, but that's how it goes. So I hope that clarifies what I said. And I hope that people will use a little bit more common sense while, while understanding things.